What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss an upload. So I'm looking a little bit crusty. I'm after work. I've been in this makeup all day, but I really want to film this video for you guys. So I decided, you know what, before I shower and get all ready for bed, I'm going to hop on here and film this video. So today's video is going to be a winter holiday hygiene haul. I have been collecting some products that I've been seeing all over social media that I want to share with you guys. And you guys kind of know I'm not a collector as much anymore. I do still have a collection but I don't actively collect because I don't have the space for it um, and I also just felt like it was becoming wasteful because I wasn't using the products enough however I did see some really cool holiday products that I wanted to pick up and I decided to get them and talk about them with you guys so without further ado let's get on into this video okay I'm gonna start with the stuff that I actually just bought today I was at Trader Joe's today and I was getting some food stuff and I happened to see some products so I wanted to share them with you guys first this isn't really holiday related but I saw this fragrance free body butter and I'm always down to try new fragrance free products I feel like I have almost too much light going on here. We're not going to be able to see the products. So, um... All right, we're trying. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the fragrance-free body butter. I'm really excited to try it. I like to always try out different fragrance-free products. Look, now I'm not focusing. I love that. So I'm really excited to try this out. Then another product from Trader Joe's that I got is this hot cocoa whipped body scrub. I thought that this would be really good for winter. I've never gotten a Trader Joe's body scrub. I know that they make them, but every time I go to get them, they're sold out of like the Brazilian nut one or whatever. I've only tried their body butters. Um, and I'm gonna smell this on camera because I did not smell it in the store. This is what it looks like. Literally looks like like Nutella. Okay, it smells exactly like what it says. It literally smells like hot chocolate. And to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not crazy about chocolate scented products. So I don't even know why I picked this up, but now I have it, so we're gonna use it. And like, look how cute this little packaging is. How adorable. I am obsessed. And lastly, I got the Gummy Bear Flavored Lip Duo. I was seeing this all over TikTok, and it was supposed to be like a dupe of the Laneige Gummy Bear Lip Balm. And I decided to pick up two, because they never have them when I'm there. And I think that they're really cute. Like, I want to give one as probably like a little gift or a stocking stuffer. And they have like these little little strings attached. I think it's the cutest thing. But of course, I'm keeping one for myself and I just am very excited to try it out. You know we can try it out on the camera. I have something on my lips right now, but we will try it together. All right, so we have the lip balm, which is in a tube, and then we have an overnight lip mask. So I'm just going to use the lip balm. Okay. It smells really good. It literally smells so sweet. Not too thick. Very, like, thin definitely not like the Laneige ones at all actually I've never tried the Laneige one in the tube but it's definitely not like the lip mask but I guess I probably would have to compare it to the tube but anyways not too bad I guess I have to see like how it works over time but let's move on because I have a huge bag of hygiene holiday products to show you guys guys the bag is so big it's heavy I cannot even lift it up but there's so much stuff so let's just like dive into it I am literally just gonna go in order of like what's on top of the bag to make my life easy but first things first I ordered this tree hut holiday set from Target. This is the Dashing Through the Glow Sugar Scrub gift set. Now, here's my plan with this. I already have two of the scents that are in here. I don't have the new packaging of Candy Cane, but I feel like I already have two old ones, so there's no point in me keeping this. This definitely will be gifted for the holidays because I don't need it. Listen, old me would have been like, okay, different packaging, I need it, but now I'm just like, no. Like, I have Candy Cane. It's not the new packaging, but it's the same exact scent, so I don't need it. I'm gonna gift it. And then same thing with Moroccan Rose, which is also in here. I'm definitely gifting this, but the reason that I bought the gift set is to buy the infamous Marshmallow Lodge. This is a suit old like throwback tree hut set and I really really wanted this gift set just for Marshmallow Lodge because I remember when everybody was finding rare scrubs everybody was like freaking over this scrub and I just like needed to see the hype so I got it and I've already smelled it I've already opened this and I don't know it just kind of smells like a really like sweet gourmand scent almost like vanilla-y I don't really know what marshmallows are supposed to smell like like when I think of marshmallows I think of like roasting marshmallows and it definitely doesn't smell like that um so in my eyes it's just a very like sweet gourmand scent but I will be keeping Marshmallow Lodge because I think that this is one that I want in my collection and the other two will definitely be gifted um, this holiday season so let's move on okay next is not holiday related but I was at Costco and Costco had like these viral nutritious body butters a while ago that were supposed to be dupes of the um, Brazilian bum bum cream from Sol de Janeiro it was in a two-pack and I liked them they're definitely not dupes I don't think they smell like it at all they almost have like a chemically like smell um, but I still have one I think I actually gave another one away but I wanted to see what these ones smelled like and how these ones would work. Um, one of them is shea butter with kakei. C 
C-A-C-A-Y oil, plant collagen, and plant squalene, which I love squalene. I think it's such a great ingredient for my face, so I'm excited to try it on my body. And then the pink one is cocoa butter, kaja, vitamin C, and fruit AJs. And listen, I will not be returning this, so if I hate the scent, I'll probably just give it away or sell it or something. So this is what they look like. They're attached by like a little sticky thing. Pretty pink and purple. Honestly, the colors definitely drew me in. We're gonna smell the purple one first. This one's supposed to be the shea butter one. Guys, not even to be weird, this smells like yogurt. Like, literally smells like Greek yogurt. Kind of throwing me off. It, like, has that, like, milky, soury scent. But, like, not in a disgusting way. Like, it literally smells like when you open a tube of yogurt. That's very odd. All right, let's smell the pink one, which is supposed to be, like, the fruity one. The vitamin C. So maybe it'll smell citru citrusy. This does not smell citrusy at all. This one, the pink one, almost smells like, like a vanilla-y shea butter. This one actually smells really nice. Even though, like, it doesn't have... It's... Oh, it has cocoa butter, so yeah, I could see cocoa butter, but the one that's supposed to smell like shea butter does not smell like shea butter. It literally smells like yogurt, so I think I'm probably going to keep the pink one because I like the scent, but the purple one, I don't know. I don't know if I can roll with it, honestly. Random, not holiday related, but I finally got the Moonlight Glow Balancing Mood Mist from Tree Hut. I actually have the Tropic Glow one I recently got. It's in this bag, but I've used it. Um, so I got this one as well. I had to order it online from Target and I have yet to use it. I haven't even used my Moonlight Glow Scrub. Um, but I like these because like, I feel like you can use them on like clothes and like you can spray it in the shower. You can spray it on yourself. I really like this scent Moonlight Glow. It's super sweet and like very like potent. But I like it. I think it smells really, really nice. Okay, uh, Tree Hut Lip Butter. This is the candy cane one. I like the Tree Hut Lip Butters. They're cool. I don't even know why I bought this to be honest. I feel like I knew... Whoops. I feel like I knew exactly what to expect with this and it's on the floor. I don't really picking it up But yeah a candy cane scented lip balm literally a mint lip balm. Did I need it? Probably not, but we already got it I already tried it. So yeah, okay moving on this also isn't holiday related However, it is from their fall collection tree huts fall collection. This video is a lot of tree hut I'm just gonna tell you that now because they had so many new releases, but this is the apple macchiato shea sugar scrub I got some products from the fall collection in PR, but I wanted to really try this one. I also smelled the boba milk tea one. I didn't think it smelled good at all. It just smelled like chemicals um, and like soapy. Like, I don't know. It didn't smell good. And then I also really wanted the cinnamon dolce, but I never was able to get it and Target doesn't sell it anymore. Um, but I don't care that much. Like, I'm not ordering it for like resale price. That's ridiculous. But the apple macchiato I saw and I was like intrigued and it smells really good. It almost smells like like cinnamon apple, but it's not a super strong apple scent. It's almost a stronger cinnamon scent, I would say. So that's that. Okay, this is where it gets exciting. So I'm gonna like try to lift the bag up. Oh my goodness gracious As most of you hygiene lovers must know Dove came out with a holiday Collection now when this collection first dropped I did not get any products because they were all sold out But randomly I was on Walmart's website and I saw that they all were on sale again So I added them onto my car not knowing that I already had the product in the car And I was like rushing to check out because I didn't want them to sell out So your girl ended up ordering two of every single product um, besides the sugar cookie body wash This one was already sold out. So I got two of all the products besides this This I didn't even get one of um, so I ended up returning the other ones. I didn't want to deal with reselling because I feel like I wasn't really gonna get money for resell until like months down the line because right now you can still purchase them so I just didn't bother I just return them I returned them all and I ended up actually being able to get the sugar cookie body wash because a few days later I checked and it was in stock so I got it right away this is like I said the Dove sugar cookie body wash and I wanted to compare this to the native one and I have to say I like this one a lot better I honestly have heard mixed things some people say they like the native one better I think that this smells closer to a sugar cookie it has a much sweeter scent to it and I just personally like this one better I think the native one smells a little bit more like cinnamony which I don't hate but it doesn't smell like a sugar cookie to me whereas this one smells more like a sugar cookie so I'm excited I think I'm gonna try this in the shower tonight so I'll let you guys know what I think about this and like look how cute the packaging is let's see if you guys can like get a cute okay um, and then going along with that we have the sugar cookie body scrub if you've never tried Dove's body scrubs They are very different from the tree hut ones. They're not thick coarse sugar granulates. They're like um, It's more like smooth It almost feels like like a body butter with some like sugar beads in there if that makes sense So it's not very rough on your skin But I definitely think it exfoliates your body nicely and leaves it super smooth and if you like more of a gentle scrub I think the Dove ones are always the way to go and I'm very excited to try this with the body wash 
And going along with that, we have the cinnamon pumpkin pie. Now, your girl does not like pumpkin. I don't like the taste of pumpkin. However, this year, the smell of pumpkin has just been so good to me. I've been burning this vanilla pumpkin candle. I was into the Tree Hut pumpkin body wash or shower gel. I finished that like literally in like a month. So I'm very excited about this because I actually really, really like the scent. Um, I guess I thought I, oh, maybe I resealed it. I don't remember. I did smell, or no, I think I smelled the scrub. I haven't actually smelled the body wash. Um, so who knows? Sometimes the body wash and the scrub don't smell the same. So we could be setting ourselves up for disappointment right now, but let's see. Let us see. No, it literally smells the same. It's just like such a like warm, just nice scent. Like, oh, I love it. Um, and I'm very excited about that. And I also got the scrub that's in here. So again, super cute. Look at the packaging. Let me just let's take a moment. Let's give it a second. Look how cute. Do you guys like pumpkin pie? I, I don't know. I'm not a big pie girl. I had a big apple pie phase and I make a mean like really good apple pie but this year I made it for Thanksgiving and I didn't even want a slice like I just wasn't in the mood I'm such like a chocolate girl that like the fruity desserts are just not my thing but I, I do like apple pie just this year I wasn't I wasn't feeling it lastly from the dove collection we have the peppermint bark now I bought this because I wanted to compare it to the native candy cane and all the other like candy cane scented things that I have like twisted peppermint from Bath and Body Works and tree huts candy cane um, and I have to say, I smelled the scrub. I do have to say that most candy cane scented products you get literally just smell like mint, like minty. But this really has that peppermint, like super like distinct peppermint scent. Like not just a minty scent, like a peppermint scent. Like it's like, it's different than the, than the native one. Native one just smells like a minty body wash. Like this really smells like peppermint. If you were to have a candy cane like that exact. I was not always into minty scents. I remember someone tried to like comment me because they were like, years ago you said you hated the candy cane scent from, uh, from Tree Hut and now you're saying you like it. And I was like, listen, it's grown on me. So please don't hate it. I can change my mind. And then we also have the scrub here, okay? And same thing. It just has that super authentic peppermint scent. Please tell me if you can understand where I'm coming from with like, the, this peppermint smell versus those peppermint smells. Like this is just pure peppermint. Let's move on. I also got some bar soaps. I got the peppermint bark bar soaps. Did I need it? No, but hey, we got a complete scent combo and then the sugar cookie one. Okay, moving on. We have another Dove one. I saw this at Target. It is mini, um, which is very weird. I actually saw it online at Target. And when it came in, I was like, wait, this is mini. But this is a hot cocoa limited edition. It's like this little tiny thing. Same thing as the Triot one. It literally smells like hot cocoa. And I don't know how I feel about it. I don't even know why I bought it it but hey what's done is done random product thrown in here but you guys if you've been watching my channel for a while you know i love my dr bronner's baby unscented pure castile soap this is the best base clean you will get i usually finish it and then i try to wait a few months before repurchasing it again because i try to actually use the other like base clean bar soaps and body washes that i have um before buying it again because like what's the point of buying a new one if i have stuff so it's been months and i've been using my dove white bar but i miss I miss her so we repurchased i don't know if i'm gonna pull her out yet but she will be coming back in the shower with me soon best believe okay um now next products are going to get returned last year i finished my native candy cane and sugar cookie body washes and love them they're great native body washes are my fave i have so many different scents however i'm definitely going to take these back because i got the dove one and again we just don't have the space for it so it's not necessary native body washes are very expensive um i already have the deodorants in both scents that i still have available to my use because i didn't finish them last year um so i just don't feel like i need these this year and you know what they came back this year hopefully they'll come back next year and maybe I can get them then but I just don't think it's necessary to have these and the dove one and I'm trying to be a little bit better whereas like two years ago if I was on here I would have been like yeah we're keeping both and like they probably just would have collected dust and I wouldn't have used them all so we got a Frenchie body oil I really wanted it in like that vanilla -y scent but I was only able to get it in lavender cloud and it's a body and hair radiance oil and I'm very excited for this but I do have like a lot of body oil so I probably shouldn't have bought this but I wanted to try stuff from this brand so why not I did order something a while ago I bought something a while ago and I ended up returning it because I didn't like it so okay and then from Ulta, I got a three pack because a lot of stuff actually was from Ulta. Like, I don't even remember out of the tree out stuff what was from Target and what was from Ulta. I want to say, like, I ordered this one on Ulta website. The trio from tree hut was from target's website um but when i was at ulta looking for tree hut products i saw a fenty beauty three pack of lip 
glosses and I gave one to my mom and then I kept the Fenty Heat and then I kept the Fenty Cream. Um, it's just a clear heat and then the cream one is in the shade Fenty Glow and I gave my mom just a basic pink one and she loves it. Um, so yeah, that's that. More Treehouse products. I was able to get this Tropic Glow at Ulta. I love her. I think she smells so similar to Brazilian Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. That Costco one, heck no, but Tropic Glow from Tree Hut definitely is a great dupe. It pairs super well with the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream because they smell so similar. And I love that this gives shimmer. Like, it's really giving 2010 vibes when I would, like, spray the shimmery body mist on me and I'd be, like, glistening. I think I'll show you guys these three lotions that I bought a while ago that I've already used, but we'll do that at the end, actually. They're from Fenty, so you probably already know what I'm talking about. Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> talking a lot. Okay, I think, I don't know if what was from Target or Ulta now, so we're just gonna move on. Sparkling Sugar is a new holiday scent from Tree Hut, so I got it in the shower gel, the sugar scrub, and I think, I, no, I didn't get it in a body butter. They don't have a body butter. Oh, I got it in a shower gel or a shave oil. So I'm very excited about this. It smells super good. And then we got the scent Berry Bright. So I got the body butter. I got the shower gel and I got the sugar scrub. And this one literally smells like berries. So I really like it. It smells similar to Valentino Born in Rome. All right. And then lastly from Tria, we have the Winter Wonder scent. And I don't even think I smelled this. Okay, this is good. This almost smells like a Christmas tree, but with some sort of like like fruitiness to it. I don't know how to explain that, but it smells so clean. Why couldn't they do this in a body butter? Oh my God, this is good. I really like this. So I don't know if they're still in stock, but for the Sephora sale, I picked up the three pack of the mini Fenty body butters. And this just came with the regular one, which is just the regular whipped oil body cream. And then we got the warm cinnamon shimmering cream. So this is what I was talking about with the shimmer. And look, oh. It smells so good. It smells literally like cinnamon. But this is the Vanilla Dream Shimmering one. And I've definitely used her. I don't know if you can see, but it just smells so good. It's such a pretty vanilla scent. And like I said, I love the shimmer. And I think they're just such a cute size because they're super thick. So you actually don't need a lot. So I feel like a little bit really does go a long way. And these will definitely last. So, all right, guys. I talked super fast. I'm sorry. I just really wanted to get through this. I had so much stuff to show you guys. But I'm very excited to kind of dig into some of these products and let you guys know what I think about them. Some things I will be returning, like the native ones. I may return a few other things just because I don't really have space for everything. I feel like I have to kind of like look at everything and like actually smell things and see what I want to eliminate like maybe for sparkling sugar I don't need the, the shower gel and the scrub like I know I like to have like scent combos but I just don't know how I'm gonna fit all this so we're gonna have to figure that out but that'll be my next job so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much for watching if you liked it make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment down below hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.